All right, so this is going to go over how to create a, uh, a sunset, but using gradients. So uh, this whole thing is going to cover how to use gradients. And um, I'm going to start by creating a, uh, using the rectangle tool. And I'm going to use a, I'll, I'll start with using a, a radial or a linear um, gradient. Now the next thing I can do is I'm going to select my free transform tool, but I'm going to hold the click on there to activate my sub selection, and I'm going to go to this gradient transform tool, and I'm going to select on this gradient. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit, and you'll notice if I click on it, I'll have this little handle here, this one here. It uh, modifies the size of the gradient, then this modifies rotation, and then this modifies the pivot point of it. Now. With that being said, it's got all these different colors. If I enter my little paint color swatch here, um, I can go ahead and I can click and drag these off. Uh, the one I have selected has the black tip. The other ones will have the white tip. And I'm going to start by selecting um, colors that represent sort of a sunset in this case. Um, you could even start with blue if you wanted um, and then have it sort of fade into the rest of these colors um, and this is just going to be like a rough sort of coloration And also what I can do is I can change the alpha on these. So I'm going to make this one 0, this one 75, this one maybe 85. And that's probably good for now. So from this point, go ahead and get it so it's just a clear blue sky at first. If you zoom out, the thing is you gotta make sure that you do not lose the uh, pivot point because otherwise you won't be able to select it anymore. So that'll be good for now. Um, the next thing I need to do is call this, uh, I'll call this gradient. And I'm going to need frames for it to animate. So I'm going to insert frame. And instead of our typical uh, motion tween, where we just move uh, the shape, we're going to do it with a shape tween. Uh, because shape tweens are really good for animating color. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and hit F6 here because if you notice this green dotted line here, um, it represents that it's broken and that it does not work. So uh, it, at the moment it doesn't work because we haven't told it what to change. So in this case I'm going to go ahead and at the very last frame I'm going to hit F6 and I'm going to go ahead at this point and just slide this down. And now when I play it, I've got something like that. And now I'm going to lock my gradient layer, and I'm going to just go ahead and create uh, another layer. And I'm going to call this one stars. Press B, and I'm going to change back to uh, a white brush. But before I do that, um, on my stars layer, I want to go to the properties of my stage here. And I'm just going to make it black. And now with my stars... Here, I'm going to just go ahead and make it black. Use my brush tool. And 
and I'm going to up the thickness a little bit since it's not really showing very well. There we go. And these are going to just represent my stars. Okay. And now, if I play it back, I've got a little sunset. Um, you can be more specific with color and things like that uh, to get it more accurate, but um, this gives us a pretty good sense of what we're trying to shoot for with that. Now, the other type of gradient we have, I'll call this one linear. Hide that one. And radial gradient. Now, the difference between these two is, um, well, one obviously is going to be shape. And the other one, I'm going to go ahead and cover up the main stage with that. And the other one is uh, there's a different uh, amount of tools that this particular one has. So um, I can squeeze the radial shape together, sort of just like with the linear, except you're just compressing and and expanding the uh, that, and then you can also change the radialness of it to give it different uh, size there. So you can do some cool stuff like that. Now, <clears throat> the other thing is is we can rotate it also. And um, if it's a perfect circle, don't really necessarily need to worry about it. And this arrow will adjust the uh, where the strength of that um, center brightest color is. Um, and it, with it being perfectly centered, the rotate doesn't matter. Um, but if it's a weird shape, it will. All right, so we're going to animate this one the same exact way. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is select my colors. So for this one, There we go. I'll start with yellow. Um, work my way out to a pink. And then these, you can adjust the slider to give it different colors. Um, maybe more so of an orange here. Maybe my next one's more of that pink type color. Uh, something like so. Um, and then uh, dark purple works to black, and then I'm going to change the alpha of here to be zero. And this particular one, because it's sort of a uh, sunset here, um, the pink might be a little bit too strong. All right, and from here, I'm going to go ahead and at this point hit F6. And I'm going to create a shape tween again. And this time it works automatically because I already created the keyframe at the end here to tell the shape tween where to go from point A all the way to point B. And then I'm going to have it start. Uh, at that point, and then, um, or I'll actually start it over here, just to show you, and then at the very end I'll have it move all the way down. And then we get something, whoop, I have two of these going at once. In which case it works like so. Um, and one more thing, I'm going to just add a foreground.
And I'm just changing this to be a gradient as well. And gradients are great for adding that lighting sort of look because it, it fades in and it sort of looks uh, shadowed on one side and then brighter on the other. I'm going to go ahead and play that. And now I've got my foreground in there. Um, and I can continue uh, using gradients uh, to create cool little uh, lighting effects and, and so forth uh, to enhance my animated uh, shorts or whatever it is. Um, in this case, it's a sunset. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, and uh, stay tuned for next time. Thanks for watching.